Being born as a Brahmin in a priestly class family, from my childhood I have been chanting. Still I do two or three of them every day as part of my life. The Vedic music really is spiritual music. It's like where you go inside to your own temple to calm you down in order to clear the mind and be at peace. very much part of our old culture, you know, thousands of years old. After the great success of the chants that Angel Record had, I wanted to try out something from India. Well, I was very aware of Ravi. By the time I met him, it was probably six or nine months or a year before I met him that I got some of his records. And other than what I read on the album covers and heard in the music, I didn't know him at all. But the thing that really blew me away was because I thought, well, he's just such an amazing player. I read something on one of the sleeve notes where he said he feels like he's only just started. I really didn't know anything about jazz or even for that matter, Beatles. We met in a party and uh, meeting him, it changed my view completely. He was so interested and he seemed so serious, wanting to pursue his knowledge for sitar and other Indian things. So that's how it started. It's like going to the temple or going to church or whatever it is, you know, just being in a position where you're having the influence of this on you. I mean, that's why I wanted to do it, because it's just a great, it's selfish, really. It's a great opportunity to be surrounded by beautiful, transcendental uh, words and meanings, but all in the course of one's duty. I was in a terrific dilemma, not knowing whether I'm doing the right thing. The old approach was to keep everything secretive. You are not supposed to utter these mantras for just everyone. It's your personal thing. Even when the Guru teaches you this mantra, they never utter it loudly. They do like this. And this is how you learn a mantra, Bija mantra, and you're supposed to keep it as a secret in your life. So I worked very hard, and that's why it took me longest ever to do any recording or, you know, composition. But in this, I had to really go through a lot of self-evaluating and everything. So much change has taken place. Over the years, people have heard so much different music now, and the world is a much smaller place. You have the integrity of the chants, but <clears throat> presented in a way where the average person who's not familiar with them will hear it as a musical thing. The mantras are really for very specific things. Now, the mantras that Ravi chose are, are for more for the individual and for the atmosphere and the planet as a whole. They are all for good things, good health, well-being, peace, love. That's what the theme is all the time. For me, it's just a joy because you say whether you need to pray to do the music, but really, as the music's going on, that is the prayer.